Welcome to your City of Greensboro Weekly Flash Briefing. Traffic delays will be experienced if you're on State Street between North Elm and Georgia Streets. Motorists will notice occasional lane closures and delays each day from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. as crews conduct waterline rehabilitation. The work will be finished by Monday, July 25th. Directional signs and traffic cones are in place and motorists are encouraged to use alternate routes to avoid the area. The work schedule could change based on weather conditions and equipment availability. The construction is part of the city's ongoing water rehabilitation program, which is funded by water and sewer rates. To report a problem or for more information, call the contractor's 24-hour emergency number at 336-402-5253. To learn more about lane and road closures and to receive email notifications about upcoming street projects, visit the city's website. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn signed the Mayor's Monarch Pledge, committing to help save the declining monarch butterfly and other pollinators. According to the National Wildlife Federation, monarch butterflies help pollinate plants and they lay their eggs on milkweed plants. Their numbers have declined by an estimated 90 percent since the 1990s as a result of their habitat being destroyed by cropland conversion, urban development, and agricultural practices. Greensboro supports monarch butterflies through public education and maintaining pollinator gardens at the downtown Greenway, Greensboro Arboretum, Keeley Park Community Garden, and Price Park. The Arboretum's Butterfly Garden is in partnership with Greensboro Beautiful. The Greensboro Science Center also maintains butterfly gardens and is developing the Cole Family Butterfly House and Monarch Conservation Project. The fifth consecutive year, Greensboro is ranked in the top 30 of Wallet Hub's Best Run Cities in America report. Coming in at 27, Greensboro ranks particularly high in total budget per capita, quality of services, financial stability, and education. Greensboro is one of three North Carolina cities in the top 30, along with Durham and Raleigh. To determine the effectiveness of local leadership, Wallet Hub compared 150 of the largest U.S. cities based on their operating efficiency. For each city, Wallet Hub constructed a quality of city services score comprising 37 key performance indicators grouped into six service categories that was then measured against the city's total per capita budget. This concludes the weekly flash briefing for the City of Greensboro. For in-depth news, tune in to FYI Weekly on Greensboro Television Network on Spectrum, AT&T, North State, and Roku. Keep up with the latest city news on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to download our weekly podcast, Talk City Greensboro. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next flash briefing.